Welcome back to News Geelong as we continue with the pulsating world of Geelong sport and our own flying hawk Nathan Covey covering tennis and premier cricket. Thank you very much Rola and good evening everyone. Well we'll start sport tonight with cricket and there was mixed results over the weekend in the premier division and I caught up with the Cats senior coach Damien Shanahan to find out more. Mixed results on the weekend, what did you say to the boys on Sunday given the big win on Saturday? Oh, look, obviously it was disappointing. Yesterday uh, really set the foundations magnificently on Saturday. It was a fantastic win. Uh, full momentum going into Sunday. We just couldn't quite uh, grasp the partnerships yesterday in our batting lineup. Um, you know, we established some smaller partnerships, but we just didn't really go on and nail it. And, you know, at Central Reserve, out at Waverley, a sort of 180 to 200 is a pretty much a par score. So that would have really, when you look back on it, would have probably won us the game. So another 25, 30 runs. Um, yeah, we would have probably uh, got the points and that's pretty disappointing from our point of view. Obviously, uh, crucial game to win against Richmond. They had a few players out as well going to second 11 today for Victoria. So, um, yeah, it's something that we're going to have to really learn from pretty quickly. There was a few rush shots when we just started developing partnerships and, you know, that's the, the crucial thing about cricket. We've just got to do the basics right time and time again and um, be patient and, and make sure that we're um, performing at optimum level. Merrick Buchanan came into the side and really batted well. Have you ever had a player in your team that can equally play cricket and AFL as he can? Oh, Merrick's obviously a special talent. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, he's uh, exquisite at anything he sort of does. So whether it's academically, whether it's um, with the cricket bat or cricket ball or whether it's with the football. So he's going to be successful wherever pathway he goes down. Um, obviously we're hoping that he stays in cricket. I know football are pretty keen to get him into a system there and in the draft and all that sort of stuff. So um, we're just you know, really thankful at the moment. He's really keen to play cricket until draft day and we'll see how we go. Um, you know, to, to look at you know, other people around the traps, there's been plenty of guys do it. So, um, but Merrick's you know, a real special one. Thanks very much, Shan, as well. As you're all probably aware of, I do have a lot of good friends on this show, and I made a new one on the weekend in tennis legend John Fitzgerald. He's a board member for Tennis Australia, and he was at the Geelong Lawn Tennis Club to sign a regional partnership. And I caught up with him to find out exactly what that is all about. John, what is this partnership all about? Well, it's a way for Tennis Australia and Tennis Victoria and, and uh, the Barwon region to really work together to promote the sport um, to forge your way forward where you get more people playing, more uh, more participation. The new Hot Shots program is a wonderful thing. That's a look out for that over the next few years. I think that has the ability to change the face of our sport and get kids in schools into tennis again with the softer balls because the kids can actually play with those softer balls. It's not an easy game for a little kid when the ball's bouncing over their head. So that's a real uh, plus for us. And to take programs like that promote it within communities like this and um, of course uh, the Geelong Lawn Tennis Club at the at the basis of the Bowen region is, is really a progressive club and uh, they've got a lot to be proud of. They've got great history uh, and uh, they deserve support and, and we're delighted to provide it. Do you think that's why Geelong and the Bowen region is such a prime candidate for the partnership given its rich history and its development processes? Well I, I think it's, uh, yeah, the history is one thing, it's very important but, but y y you have to be progressive. I mean we want this sport of ours not just to survive, we want it to flourish. And, you know, we're competing against 200 countries out there that all play tennis. You know, over 130 of them have a, a Davis Cup team every year. So uh, this, is not, this is a global sport and it's competitive. And we've got a few over 20 million people and, and uh, it's not easy to compete with them. So uh, having said that, you know, we, we've got a proud history and we want, we want the game to flourish at the local levels, but we also want a chance to produce some world-class players as well. So uh, to have clubs like uh, the Geelong Lawn Tennis Club, which is a very progressive club, you know, a regional progressive club, um, they deserve support and, uh, and they deserve it. Finally, do you think, are you confident this partnership will flourish? Have you seen these partnerships work in other areas before? Well, Tennis Australia has um, a strategy to, they've already got over 30 regional uh, partnerships around Australia. Uh, it's obviously not just in Victoria, this is, this is a nationwide uh, effort and uh, we're planning on a lot more than that over the next few years. So, so look, yeah, there's no reason why it won't. I mean, there's, there's progressive people here in this club. Thanks very much for your time, John, and nice to meet you. I also spoke to Geelong Long Club manager Ken Barton to find out what it would mean for the Barwon region. 
was a big weekend for Geelong Law with not only the women thrashing Royal South Yarra but also the regional partnership being so on. What will that mean for your club? Uh, look, the regional partnership is something we've been pursuing for a while, Nathan, and uh, it's really just a, uh, a sensible move for a, a club of this size um, to partner with Tennis Australia, who are a major funder provider to the sport, uh, to partner with Tennis Australia and also Tennis Victoria to not only develop tennis at Geelong Lawn Tennis Club, but also to uh, to play what I guess has always been an important role for us is to uh, is to really try and uh, drive the growth of tennis in the region. The, as I said earlier, the women did have a big win. Alenka Hubacek came back into the side. Are the women at full strength now? Uh, very much so. No, look, the, the, the women are really gaining confidence each match and we, we could see that uh, yesterday and now they're poised to, uh, to really position themselves well for the finals and uh, if they go well on Wednesday, uh, then they could possibly have a, a home semi-final. If that is the case, will Danny Alla be available for the home semi-final? Uh, yes, I believe she will be, yes. And what about the men? They can't make finals, but have you seen them improve or how's the, how's the list looking for the men? Once again on, on Sunday we had uh, a couple of close three set matches at uh, one and two for both Josh, our number one, and David, our number two. And uh, look, uh, they're, they're bonding well as a team. That They've lost some close matches. they lost a, a match tie break with the doubles as well. Thanks very much, Ken. Finally tonight, here's the feature race from last Friday night out at the Geelong Greyhound Racing Club. Light on race eight, Bunny Rolling, sit now. Racing. Favourite clay pan left fairly well. Smashville left pretty well off the inside. Out fast, Lictra fly and going at quickly now from wide at Shiraz Glory. And clay pan the favourite right across from the outside the lead. Clay pan takes a clear lead. Goes down the back three in front over Lictra fly. Running on shunted. Four back then Smashville. Weaving through the inside. Riverdale duel over Bledders low. Lictra Grand and Shiraz Glory checked back to last. But clay pan came off the back. Four lengths clear here over Lictra fly. Shunted. Smashville winding up down the centre. But clay pan turned in front of holding three to Lictra fly. And clay pan most of the way. Two a half over Electra Fly, smash Villa out late for third. Well, that's it for me tonight. I've had a big day at the Geelong Cup, and I'll bring you the highlights in our Friday night show, which will also be my final show as sports presenter. I've had a ball over the last two years, and it might get a little bit teary. Hope you don't cry, Rollo. Thank you, Nathan. Nice forehand and well batted, and we'll look forward to seeing you on Friday. And I promise no tears. And now the weather scene for Geelong and the Surf Coast. Tomorrow, Thursday, we'll see a mostly sunny morning with scattered showers and a chance of thunderstorms in late afternoon and evening with a top of 27. Friday will be partly cloudy with isolated showers and a top of 20. Starting off the weekend, Saturday will continue to be partly cloudy with isolated showers and a top of 21. Sunday will be mostly cloudy with isolated showers and a top of 22. Monday will start the new week being partly cloudy and a top of 20, while Tuesday will see a mostly sunny morning with a chance of showers later in the day and a top of 23. Today was sunny throughout with a top of 28 and that high UV index, so I hope you used a slip, slop, slap. Thank you for joining us on News Geelong. To Janet Coglin in Spotswood, happy birthday Janet. Remember, take your time and smell the flowers. From all the team at News Geelong, have a pleasant evening and a very good night.